Do, 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 do. Hey, look at that. This is probably one of the more quiet videos that I've taken in this lab. The desk is a mess, obviously, we all know that. Um, but here you go. This is the proper use of a paint can. And by proper, I mean not the way you're supposed to. This is very close to. Uh, you gotta be careful, that's, that's yucky when it gets in your lungs. Um, this is a very close to one kilogram of graphene. It's, well, I'll show you how deep it is. Yeah. It's about, see, there you go. So it's about, about uh, four inches, four and a half inches deep in the paint can. And it is very light and fluffy powder. There's a couple uh, spots where it's like bigger and still uh, clumped together. Not not necessarily the same as what was in the cake when we process it, but you know, it is what it is, and it's very, very, very neat. Lots and lots of graphene. Look at that, and it comes out. This is what's so neat about it. It just comes out like like that, and then it just falls off, and then it sticks to the little rod because it, it is what it is. I mean, it'll stick to anything. I'm telling you. It's, uh, it's actually hard to work with material. Um, not, not like hard as in like, oh, I know how to work with materials and, and whatever. But if you are a novice and you get this on stuff, here you go. This is what will happen. Just spill a little bit of it on the floor and it will ruin your floor. <laughs> I, have to, I have to pull the wax up off the, off the tile here to redo the floors because it just gets on anything and everything. Look, it's on the bottom of our sonicator, just, just a little splash of it here and there. I mean, I, I have to clean over and over and over and over again because it just it gets on everything and it's very, very not fun to deal with um, cleaning wise. Uh, it's hydrophobic, so when you put water on it, it says no. It says, I will not go with you, Mr. Water. You, you really have to use really soapy hot water and try to like get it caught up in the soap um, because it, it just doesn't it doesn't go with soap soap and water um, there's all kinds of things about it that are just neat uh, recently we've been doing uh, tests with uh, the, 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 the carbon fibers and and integrating the uh, graphene in uh, resin for carbon fiber. We'll find out some test results pretty soon. Um, it's neat. The graphene actually makes the resin um, less viscous. Uh, it makes it easier to stir it and mix it. It's, it's really neat. Um, and then it, and that means it wets out better if you know about carbon fiber. A uh, less viscous epoxy would be helpful to wet out the material a little better and then, of course, it makes the actual epoxy, which I do have some right here, a lot stronger. This is, this is it. This is just the epoxy itself. It's, I mean, not paper thin, but very, very thin. And you have it over here, and I'm bending it and bending it and bending it. And, and this is the really cool one, where you go like this and you bend it flat. I mean, and then it, it kind of returns shape, springs back a little bit. But it's a... Uh, it's not rubbery, but it's it's not like plastic. But with the resin itself, it's just ugh. It it I mean it it's kind of like a that thin. It would just it's just smushy. You can you can put your thumb into it and everything like that. This you can't. I mean you can put your thumb into it like it, it, it reminds me of the plastic that a PlayStation controller is made out of except just a little bit more flexible. That's what it is. It's just a little bit more flexible, but it's more like rubbery flexible than it is, you know, whatever. And then I have, I have a sample somewhere of the resin itself. I have another big chunk of the resin right here that's like nice, thick, and you, you can't bend this, you can't do anything. I tried to break it with uh, channel locks. But I have the resin itself somewhere around here, and it it actually just hardens to like the consistency of like Elmer's glue. It's, it's uh, 
maybe, maybe I'm mixing it wrong, but that's the same batch, exact same. You know, you mix it together, you cut it in half, you put graphene in it, and then you put and you put nothing in it, and you let them dry side by side, and they don't. Uh, one one becomes very hard and durable, and one just doesn't. I mean, it's just flimsy, flimsy junk. Yeah. So that's some of the things that I'm up to, but I figured I'd show off the giant can here of that, and pretty soon we're going to be making cans of these every day. Um, things are going pretty good. I don't. I don't. You'll never see a tour of our facility or anything like that, but I'll I'll show off some more paint cans full of graphene pretty soon, um, and maybe some giant barrels. You know, when that time comes, we're we're actually in the process of looking at ordering stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. Once that volume comes up, we're we're going to be very very happy. <sighs> there you go. Have a good day.